This tutorial introduces the Spots to Spots Closest Distance extension. This extension calculates and displays the distance to the closest neighbour of the spots objects. The result of this extension could be particularly useful for stem cell and tissue research, morphogenesis, cancer progression or biofilm development studies in which quantification of distances can reveal some unique spatial relationships. We will start at the point where the spots creation wizard has been completed and spots objects created. All the available extensions for spots are listed under the tool tab. As soon as you click on the spots closest distance button, a MATLAB window opens. There are three different possibilities of how the results can be displayed. New statistical values, new spots object or new channel. If you select the spots statistic option, a set of new variables is added under the statistics tab. A new spots object is created and under the detail tab in the specific values, three new types of distance measurements are available, maximal, mean and minimal. Click directly on the object of interest and the corresponding row of the table is highlighted. To find all statistical values only for the selected object or group of objects, choose the Selection tab. If you select the Spots Radius option and start from all spots that are the same size, as in this tutorial. After running this extension, a new spots object is created and the distance value is encoded to the spots radius. As distance to the next spot is represented as a radius, you can have a fast visual indication of where spots are close together and where they are further apart. The bigger the radius, the greater the distance from another spot. Also, under the Statistics tab, you can find the radius value for each newly created spot. These values represent the distance to the next spot object. To further enhance the visualisation, you can colour code the spots based on diameter. And now the image shows the same value represented both in colour and size. Lastly. If you select the Dataset Channel option, the distance values are encoded in the newly created channel intensities. A new channel has been added to the Display Adjustment window. This new channel can also be used in visualisation if its range is exaggerated and the colour and gamma value is adjusted. In this new channel, all intensities outside spots objects are set to zero. Intensities inside spots objects have a value of the distance to the next spot. Under the Statistical tab, a new variable shows the intensity centre of the newly created channel, indicating the distance to the next spot. Selecting multiple results is available by pressing the Select All button. The next step is to decide how the distance calculation is to be performed. The distance can be calculated either from the centre of the spot object or from the border. The option to calculate the distance from the border is useful if you have already created some multiple size spots objects. Then this extension will calculate the distance between edges of objects. In other cases, measurements between object centres might be more suitable. All previously shown examples were based on measurements between object centres. If you have questions about these features or any other features found within Imaris, please contact our sales or support team.
Thank you for watching this video.